Hello, my name is Dave Johnson. I'm the Business Unit Manager for Sensor Technologies. I'd like to take this opportunity to talk to you about our product, the Illuminator, which is an accessory to the conventional light microscope. Every day, thousands of light microscopes are being used in today's public health laboratories to identify or analyze micro samples that have come into the lab based on some potential concern to the public health. Although the light microscope is a very powerful tool, oftentimes it does not provide the total answer. Oftentimes, the major question is what is the identity of the material that's being studied under the light microscope? This is where the Illuminator PHL comes in. The Illuminator PHL is a molecular analyzer utilizing infrared technology that adds to most infinity corrected light microscopes. What this system allows the technician or scientist within the public health lab to do is to not only view the sample under study, but to quickly and easily identify the chemical composition of that material. The ability to rapidly identify materials has become even more important today in the fight against terrorism, where the public health labs are being asked to be the first line of support for first responders in the field that are finding an alarming rate of white powders in various locations throughout the world. The way an unknown is identified quickly is the unknown spectrum that's been collected is searched against a database or series of libraries that's equipped with the Illuminator PHL package. The libraries include nerve and blister agents, toxic industrial chemicals, explosives, common white powders, asbestos, fibers, common chemicals, and forensic drugs. If the unknown is not identified by searching those libraries, we also offer reachback service where the scientist or technician can contact one of our infrared scientists who will aid them in analyzing the spectrum for identification. The Illuminator product is the only system on the market today that combines the power of infrared with the very best in visual capability, the light microscope. Let's demonstrate how the Illuminator works. As Dave mentioned, the Illuminator microanalysis system may be used to analyze a wide variety of samples. What I'd like to do now is show you how to do the analysis of several samples, which will give you an opportunity to see how this system might fit into your particular mission. Now I'd like to show you how the Diamond ATR objective is used to analyze a fiber sample. On the stage of the microscope, we've placed a fiber, you position the fiber in the center of the field of view. Next, you rotate the diamond ATR into position, and you collect your background. Now, in this position, the sample is two millimeters away from the business end of the diamond ATR objective, so we can safely collect a background without concern for getting contamination from the sample itself. Once the background is collected, we hit sample analysis, and then raise the stage. As we raise the stage, we see the fiber first come into focus. As soon as contact is established between the diamond ATR element and the sample, the spectroscopic bands appear, and you can start your analysis. Once the 16 scans are collected, the data is compared with the library, and the library reports that this fiber is a nylon fiber. For suspicious powders and credible threats, a sealed cell is used to mount samples prior to spectroscopic analysis. This is done to keep the laboratory environment safe for both analysts and visitor alike. The sealed cell is placed inside a glove box with the sample. An aliquot of the sample is placed in the center and the cover glass is put over it. Before the sealed cell is removed from the glove box, it is decontaminated. It is then placed on to the stage of the microscope. I search around looking for the different particles that make up this two-component mixture. I then center an area that I would like to analyze in the field of view, rotate in the infrared objective, 
and collect the data. After collecting the data of the first particle, I then move to other particles in the cell to characterize those. Again, I introduce the 10x glass objective. After centering another particle in the field of view, I rotate again to the infrared objective and collect an infrared spectrum of that particle as well. Given the circumstances of today, frequently those involved with homeland defense see many suspicious white powders submitted for analysis. When a sample arrives, there's no telling what could be in this vial. It could be a homogeneous material. It could be heterogeneous. With the illuminator, an aliquot of the sample is removed from the vial, placed on the infrared reflecting glass slides, and then submitted for polarized light microscopic analysis. By introducing a polarizer above and below the sample and studying the sample under the light microscope, the analyst rapidly determines that there are two distinct particle types that are readily recognized under polarized light. What the analyst would then do after determining that it has two dissimilar particles would be to center a particle in the field of view, rotate the diamond ATR into position, raise the sample stage, and collect an infrared spectrum. After analyzing the first species, he would lower the stage, clean the diamond ATR element, find a different particle, and repeat that analysis. Again, raise the stage, touch it to the diamond sensor, and see the infrared signature of that. As you have just seen, the combination of FTIR spectroscopy and polarized light microscopy can be used by an analyst to determine the components in a complex mixture in just a matter of a few minutes. If you would like more information about our Illuminator product, please feel free to visit our website at www.sensor.com. If you would like a free demonstration at your facility, please call us at 203-207-9700. Thank you very much.